Hello everyone, I am Miss Best to be a blessing. This is a reading for my earth signs. If you are a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, this reading is for you. Um, with that being said, I'm going to jump right in to your reading for today, which is July 8, 2024. <laughs> with that being said, what's heading your reading is the Ten of Cups and the Five of Swords. So right off the back, I do feel like there's going to be some emotional fulfillment and happiness. The Ten of Cups came off of the top card. So that's something that you definitely could be wanting to receive within your life. But the warning card for you today is there could be other people who don't want to see you succeed in life. So they could be doing some underhanded things within to um, throw blocks within your path. I feel like you're very creative. You have a very creative mind. I feel like somebody's going to be communicating with somebody. Somebody could be writing a letter, receiving a letter. Um, there could be some texting going on. I do see um, some good news. I do see good news coming in for somebody here in regard to um, finances because you have the nine of pentacles. So you could be receiving a letter or maybe a check in the mail saying that you're going to receive some money or something like that. Somebody's going to be talking to you in regard to your finances. I see here the next card that you have here is the four of torches. Um, you focus on your stability a lot. That's what you want. You have to have that firm foundation because you are earth signs. This is what you seek. Also, um, so we have the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles talks about, this is you. You you see a lot of things. Sometimes you see a lot of things you don't even say it. Just because you know it, you don't say it, which is a great thing. That's a, the thing about knowing some things. You keep it to yourself. That way you can always have something over on somebody else. Because some people try to pay people like, they dumb or they stupid or they don't know. But you do know. Deep down inside, you do know. All right, we have um, Ten of Pentacles. Hello, somebody. Yes, um, financial blessings definitely in store for you. Some of you could be working extremely hard, but here we go with the mess and the drama. Eight of Swords, somebody's feeling like their hands is tied within a situation. Very much so, very much so tied up. This is your thoughts, because, yeah, you have a lot of things on your mind. You feel like Sometimes everything is okay. You could have emotions that are up and down and things of that sort. Hmm. There's a water sign, a Scorpio Cancer Pisces who could be um, coming towards you. So look out for that person. That person could be very psychic, could have very good intentions. Um, intuition, I'm sorry, not intention, intuition and things of that sort. So look out for a water sign. Or you could have that in your chart. You could be very intuitive. Hello, somebody. That being said, the next card we have is there's an offer that's going to be coming in. So it's up to you to decide if you want to take the offer. But looking at your reading, the offer is facing a devil card. It's devil card. Somebody could be trying to get you caught up within a situation. Um, somebody could be overindulging in some things that they should not be indulging in. Um, whether it be drinking, shopping, having too much sex, cheating, whatever it is, it's not a good thing. Also, somebody wants to distract you too. So it could be an offer that could be coming in to um, take your attention away from something else. Or somebody promising money about something. Because the next card that's coming up, as you see, there's a red snake on this card, right? Okay. Um... And it's a lover's card. It could be somebody you're trying to play some games in regard to somebody's heart or something like that, you know? Hmm. Somebody could be feeling like in a lover's relationship they're being eaten up or eaten alive or something like that. You see the red snake is eating the dove. That means even though no matter how pure, how good, whatever you think that you are, somebody who you're laying with could be a slithering snake. And they could be eating you up. Not literally, but then again, hey, shit, you never know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, it is what it is. Be careful, somebody. Some of y'all got to be careful of these lovers that you're with. Because they're going to cause you a lot of, a whole lot of heartache and pain and sorrow. You see the three of swords there? Heartache and pain, disappointment is what I'm seeing. Somebody feels like they're stuck 
They're unsure about which way to go, and, and you're also having some sleepless nights here, Earth signs. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some sleepless nights, you're worried about something. You need to give it over to Spirit so they can help you with that. Mm, we have a... Okay, so the spider. I love spiders, but sometimes spiders could be somebody trying to weave a web of some type of deception here. So be careful of that, okay? Mm. Yeah, yeah. And coming up behind this card with the spider on it, we have the Seven of Swords. That's a lot of betrayal. There's some betrayal going on, you guys. I don't know whether it's family members, somebody you thought was a friend. It could be a lover because we just thought you were talking about a lover's relationship. It could be somebody who is cheating. It could be that. Or it could be somebody at your job that could be messing with you or trying to play games with your mind or something like that. But, yeah... Somebody is up to some betrayal here. And it's going to cause somebody some pain. Somebody's going to be crying in regard to um, this situation. When I see fish, somebody's crying about finances or something like that with this fish. Mm -hmm. Your next card is you got to make a head of all decision about what are you going to do in regard to this situation. What are you going planning to do? What are you going to do? I feel like some of you are going to be walking away, walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve your purpose in regard to this situation. I also see here the star card. There's some healing that needs to take place. Healing um, so that you can balance out something you could be dealing with an Aquarius individual. But you're needing that healing and balance in your mind, body, and spirit. Okay, there is a partnership here. This is the couple card, the two of cups. This could be somebody you're working with or something. Or some of you could be going to a healer to get some healing in regard to a lover's relationship. We also have here the, when you get your healing done, doors open up opportunity will definitely open up for you. And your last and final card is the, I love this card because that has the owl on it. Owl is like using your wisdom. It's also a spirit card. Some of you need to be speaking to your ancestors and spirit guides to help you in regard to whatever it is that's going on in your life. If you look at the card closely, it's saying, speak to your spirits at the nighttime because the moon is here, or something you have been speaking to your spirits at nighttime. And if you look at the top of the card, it's like, speak to them in regard to everything that goes on within your life because they can help you over there. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please take a moment, you guys, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, to um, like, subscribe, and comment, and have a truly, truly blessed day. Thank you, guys.